Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading uh, for Pisces. How are you guys, Pisces? Hope all's well. Let's see what's transforming in your love life. I did put up some, uh, or will be putting up some more bonus readings. So if you've looked at those bonus readings, you don't see your, your sun sign in the list. You can always watch your moon rising or Venus, but I will get the rest of the sun signs done. Okay, just so you know. So Pisces, what is transforming in your love life? Yeah, there's that Knight of Wands energy again. <laughs> See, somebody who rushes in often feels a little overwhelmed and they rush right back out again. It's a person who's enthusiastic. They come in, they're focused on that passionate energy, often the physical attraction, the chemistry. Okay, sometimes the chemistry is off. This person rushes in and rushes out. We'll see, but there's some sort of transformation here. A little sad energy. <laughs> yeah, it's often a person who's hard to pin down. Yeah, you got the start of something new. I do think somebody else got this card or something similar. Uh, similar message here. Yeah, the sun, the start of something new. I see a lot of happiness and joy. Yeah, so it's an energy of just slowing down. Slow and steady wins the race, assessing the situation. It's often, I, I do feel some of you might have a choice here too. I mean, it could even be yourself in that energy. Uh, but I feel the start of something new. So much happiness and joy. Just taking things slow, enjoying the moment, assessing the situation. It's often when a person feels a little apprehensive. They just need to slow down. Yeah, see? It's all about perspective. A little change of perspective here. Uh, Pisces, looking at things different. See, it's all about perspective, and that's what I feel. I see happiness and joy, just kind of taking things a little slow. Yeah, someone has a little bit of regrets, or they feel like there's no hope. Focused on the negative, the five of cups. But it's really, like I say, it's a temporary energy. Someone here is, like I feel, I mean, I, I do see this new. I see the happiness, the joy. I feel it's an energy of perspective, you know, looking at the bright side, taking things slow, just assessing it as you go. You know, if it's yourself, but it could be someone else, you may have a choice. Yeah, you may feel like there's not a lot of hope uh, for someone here, too. Like I say, a person who rushes in and out, but walking away so someone's walking away looking for something else it wasn't emotionally fulfilling so often this is what happens uh, where somebody here takes a little pause and goes yeah I'm not so sure if this person's right for me you know it's not emotionally fulfilling I'm walking away but this is often someone who's searching for something new yeah that's the eight of cups all about how you look at it. We have a person doing some thinking. They're analyzing a situation. Yeah, look at that. So someone's looking at all the possibilities here. So someone looking at the possibilities. They're fantasizing. They're in their head. You know, a little romantic, romanticizing. Seeing being more romantic. Someone may have um, ran away. Okay. But I feel it's perspective. Okay. Looking at things from a different perspective. Looking at the bright side. See, like I say, it's about just slowing down, not rushing in, getting overwhelmed, or just feeling like something isn't right here. See, it's not emotionally fulfilling. This is somebody maybe looking at why. Okay, looking at the possibilities why somebody walked away, or maybe why they walk away. Yeah, masculine or feminine energy. Yeah, we have the star releasing things that no longer serve. This is someone who often knows. I mean, it has to do with self-worth, self-respect. Someone's releasing, see, it's the energy of letting go of those options. So I do feel there's something new. Energy perspective, and I do feel taking a little pause. I, I feel like we have a person here who's going to let go of all their options here. It certainly looks like it, releasing all these options, looking at how things play out. See, this is a person uh, who's learned something here. So they're confident with the choice they're making. I see some Aquarius energy. It could be Gemini or Libra. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. There you are. You know your worth and value, loving yourself first, self-respect. So somebody may have been disrespectful, but it's about you respecting yourself, the feminine. It's all about perspective, and it is about taking a pause and assessing a situation. You may walk away from someone. 
okay or somebody has walked away from you so but we have that king of swords who is this king of swords boy that came out quick the king of swords with the the nine of cups okay so this is an energy of someone who being a little cautious a little careful what they wish for but someone didn't get something they wanted eight of cups nine of cups they're searching this is sometimes a person who's always looking for something new someone who has options but like i say it's an energy of not being anyone's option this is likely why you've walked away i do see someone releasing things that no longer serve but it could be yourself okay but this has to do with hopes and dreams i definitely see someone romanticizing a little bit here maybe there was a lack of romance see it's an energy of someone you know looking at the situation here Mm hmm someone didn't get something they wanted i feel they're looking at why they're looking at how things played out <laughs> Maybe you have other options. Yeah, they're looking at it. Oh, yeah, change of perspective, taking a pause. This could be someone checking you out, too, to see if you have other options, too, because it does look like someone's left something behind where they felt there was no hope. Let's have a look at this Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's a single person. Somebody here who's single, definitely ready for something new, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. This is often, too, a person who... I feel with this energy. I mean, it's a it's someone who kind of feels there's no hope. They're going to be single forever. Uh, and I see that energy. But I do see new. I do see happiness and joy and new. Now the sun is shining. It's flowing down on this reading. So anything negative is kind of softened a little bit here. But it's where everything becomes very clear. So let's have a look at the sun. What is this um, happiness and joy? This new. Oh, yeah, you got somebody new somebody new yeah they're assessing the situation so it, no it could be this person they could be walking away from someone feeling like there's not a lot of hope but someone feels like there's no hope they're going to be single forever or they're never going to find the right person it's an energy of someone who wants love you can see it they're grounded sensible they're planning something but you can see there's some apprehension but it's really i feel about taking it slow just a change of perspective Mm -hmm. it could be an energy of walking away agreeing to disagree as well for some of you but it's all about putting the shoe on the other foot how the other person feels see i feel someone here maybe walked away they may be uh, now assessing this and looking at how this played out see this is somebody here who they didn't get what they wanted possibly because they didn't give you something you wanted okay that's what happens see it's an indulging card <laughs> fill my cup Mm -mm. someone could be a little full of themselves here too yeah got someone doing some thinking here yeah we have someone waiting see it's an energy where someone is waiting now looking elsewhere someone may feel like it's too late because they are taking a pause and looking at things different it's about how the other person feels but it's also a change of perspective this is someone here I definitely wanting this happiness and joy. Now, they could be looking, could be someone looking at um, checking things out here, looking to see if you started something new. But I do see a place. This is often a social place where people socialize. So this is someone kind of, like I say, they're assessing it. It has to do with partnering up as well. Oh, yeah, see, someone who feels like there's no hope. Someone has other options. But I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling here. Often with the Knight of Wands, it has to do with romance. Somebody here, I feel, and it could be someone looking for something new, keeping their options open. But I really feel what it's trying to say is there's a lack of romance here. It's not emotionally fulfilling. There was no romance. This is why I feel someone's moved on. <laughs> Uh huh. I feel like it's yourself walking away, but it could be someone here, you know, like I say, who keeps walking away. They keep their options open. Yeah, but look at that. See, it's emotional fulfillment. This is an energy of someone wearing their heart on their sleeves, putting themselves out there. It's an energy of someone putting all their cards on the table. But see, somebody here is getting something they want. They got what they want. They got all their cups filled. But they didn't give the other person what they want, so they walked away. So I feel like you know who this is. Okay, but it could be a, a person just reflecting on this too. 
Yeah, see teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. Now, this is the King of Swords is often someone who looks at things from a couple of perspectives until they feel confident that someone's compatible, their type. Okay, but it's about going down this path, cooperating, compromising. This is where two people come together. They're looking at, you know, the things that someone brings to the table, their skills. But this is two people who generally build each other up. Okay. They cooperate, compromise. This is often someone who doesn't want to sacrifice everything they've worked for. They could be a business owner. So that's where I kind of feel this is someone who just kind of keeps their options open. Mm -hmm. This is someone waiting, you know, longing for the one. I can see it. They, you know, you can see the energy. They want to be happy. But I feel someone here, like I say, a little full of themselves here. It's like, you know, they want to be indulged, fill my cup. Someone who rushes in and out. I do feel it's somebody here who is definitely looking at this energy of just kind of waiting. If you have someone who's keeping you waiting, definitely keep your options open, okay? Because this is someone who often drags their feet. You're always waiting and waiting, okay? You're nobody's option for one, okay? And that's where I feel like you need to look at that yourself. But look at this. It has to do with building the foundation, a reason to celebrate. So... There is some kind of an event here. I do think someone's planning something. They're looking at all their options. So, you know, someone feels like there's not a lot of hope. Yeah, you got somebody maybe with a little Virgo in their chart. No, this could even be yourself in that energy too. So just, you know, take it how it resonates. But it has to do with someone looking for clues. Looking for clues and answers. Feeling like there's no hope. Yeah. This is someone's path. They're kind of assessing their path in their love life. Tell me more about the hermit. Yeah, see, it's a person longing for love. They're assessing their past, their love life. This is someone who's definitely longing for love, but I, I feel like I don't know whether they just... It's like they keep walking away or they're looking at why. This is often someone looking for clues why someone walked away. Yeah, I feel like the feminine has walked away, okay? Pisces, yeah, releasing things that no longer serve. You know your worth. I feel like, you know, you see the situation doesn't serve you. Someone who drags their feet, they keep you waiting. I see you are longing for love. But I actually feel here, you know your worth. You're holding yourself in high regard. I actually feel like this person does, whoever they are. But I feel it's an energy where you're just moving on here. It's not emotionally fulfilling because this is, I feel, someone who kind of maybe a little bit cold. They're not very emotional because there's this reflection on the past, but it's an energy of longing for love. See, this is someone here who's looking at that, their path in their love life. Now, this could be someone here, very negative that happened when they were. I do see an energy of a crush as well but i feel it's an energy of just waiting for the right person waiting for the one but i feel if this like i say it could be too late too i i feel like you you want marriage and commitment you want a strong financial foundation and i do see a reason to celebrate feel like another path yeah see chaos conflict drama competition you're not into this drama now it could be yourself looking at why someone else walked away there could be a lot of drama we know the Queen of uh, Cups can be a rather dramatic. <laughs> but I really feel it has to do with uh, taking action. Someone here, I feel, like I say, it's a, yeah, it's a little chaos, conflict, competition. Um, someone here, I'm going to tell you, I do feel someone's a little full of themselves here. Like, fill my cup, indulge me, give me what I want. If you're patient, then I'll give you what you want. But... Like I say, I see some kind of maybe an argument, a fight or something here. But I feel it's all about perspective. See, Seven of Cups, looking at all the possibilities. Someone's reflecting how something played out. All oh, this drama, competitive energy. Oh, they're having a massive epiphany. See, it's where something ended, the tower came down. Somebody got angry. And it could be them because they didn't get what they wanted. Someone here is a little full of themselves. <laughs> they are. Maybe even a little bit smug, but whatever it is that's happened, I feel like you're just open to something new, okay? That's what I feel. You're open to new. So I do see a, a king of swords, somebody maybe with Aquarius, you may be releasing this person. 
Yeah, but it's all just taking a pause, looking for clues, looking for answers. It's an energy of also going within, and there's that massive epiphany, why someone walked away. And somebody who doesn't reciprocate, maybe you gave this person a little gift to show them that you like them. Okay, but this is someone who drags their feet. They're taking a long time. It's good to go slow, but it's also an energy of slow and steady. <laughs> okay, I see a lot of waiting. Let's have a look at this waiting. Why is this here for Pisces? Yeah, see, it's where you're waiting and something feels off. See, it just feels off. See, looking at things from a different perspective. I feel it's an energy of just, you're, it's ready to try something new. I feel like you're ready to try something new. You're open to something new. Yeah, you want someone stable, definitely. But I would, like I say, if you've had someone who's walked away, it could have to do with yourself. See, looking at it from the other person's perspective. Maybe there was drama. Maybe you got angry. Um, I do see somebody who could have a bit of a temper whether it's yourself or this other person. It's not someone looking at how it's all played out. But I really feel like some of you are waiting for something new. I, I feel like you just know your worth and value. You're releasing a situation that no longer serves. You could have someone who has a temper too. A little temper tantrum when they don't get what they want. They don't get that cup full. See, chaos, argument, fighting, drama. Yeah, so you want someone who comes in right. This is where I feel that realization. This is maybe after a period of time waiting for this person. If you've been waiting, you're realizing they're really not right for you. <laughs> they're not the one, okay? Especially if you don't want all this drama. I see you want marriage. You want someone who's committed, okay? So I do see a, some sort of a choice here. I see a little Sag. There's that Sag energy. See someone who's hard to pin down. Uh, they don't want to commit, lack of commitment. But whoever this is, it's I feel, and it could be yourself, feeling like there's not a lot of hope because something feels off. Yeah, see, there's been some heartache, possible a third party. So you may have other options. Stephanie, is this someone who's just not right for you? Yeah, see, there it is, guarded defense. If it's somebody who often pushes someone away, so I feel this is where you're going to be standing up for yourself too. See, it's the tearing down of the wall. Someone has walls built around themselves, definitely. It's an energy of someone who um, letting down their guard, but I do fee see somebody there with some kind of hurt, heartache. Could be a third party, but sometimes it's a person, I feel someone's having a bit of a temper tantrum. They're really full of themselves. They didn't get what they wanted, so they got angry and walked away. So you know your worth, like that's where I feel. You're just releasing it, it no longer serves. You're not carrying this baggage. And it could be someone who has a lot of baggage too, okay, from a past relationship. But I feel you need to stand up for yourself, okay? You might even block this person, you know, it's enough is enough kind of energy, yeah, taming the beast, taming the beast. It's an energy of, I see you looking on the past with kindest compassion, I see forgiveness. But, you know, it could be someone who blocked you, too, because they had a temper tantrum. They didn't get what they wanted. You didn't fill their cup. See? Because I feel this is someone who likely treats you like an option. Yeah. But there's definitely been heartache. Someone here who possibly has a fear of commitment as well. But there's definitely been some uh, hurt feelings. Yeah, you've got someone else coming in here. Like I say, someone here is not your type. Someone who is... It's all about how you look at it. So this is where I feel taking a pause. You might actually have another Pisces coming in. See the masculine feminine energy here. See two people longing for love. Some of you have a new crush. This is where while you're waiting, something new comes in. Yeah, and I do think you're going to have this epiphany yourself. Somebody might get very angry. They may block you or you're going to block them. But I feel like you got someone who, you know, they kind of come in and then they push you away kind of energy if you don't fill their cup it's a person who kind of has that entitled energy they're all about themselves but this is where you have to start looking out for you okay so i feel like i say taming the beast being confident here yeah someone here being confident i feel someone here is overly confident too <laughs> the entitled person yeah see very angry there's competition but you know like i say uh, while you're waiting, you got somebody new coming in. 
Now this, I do see the all three kings. I see three kings, so there could be, like I say, you're just keeping your options open until the right one comes in. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone who puts in the effort. Now this is also an energy where you've put a lot of work and effort into a situation where you're doing all the work. See, someone's not coming in right. They're not treating you right. So, yeah, I think you're going to see that too. But it's the energy of yourself being confident that someone isn't right for you and, and uh, confident with someone is. It's an energy of trying something different. Someone kind and compassionate, more loving, nurturing. Someone who's generous with their time, their energy. They give you little gifts. They show you that they like you. And that could be this person doing that too. But I got to tell you, really, really be careful if it's the same person. Okay, trying something different. Giving you little gifts. I do see an energy of um, somebody who's not very romantic. I think you've got other options. I, I feel you're seeking out other options because you're looking at this. They must have other options because they keep you waiting. Yeah, see, walking away is someone who doesn't put in the effort. They want you to do all the work. Fill my cup. Make me happy. Indulge me. So, yeah, there you are making a choice. <laughs> Life path choice decision. Yeah, I actually feel the person, whoever it is that's coming in, it could be any of these energies, but I really feel this King of Swords is doing a lot of thinking. They feel very confident about something, but I feel someone's overly confident that they were going to get what they wanted and they didn't get it. So, mm -hmm. so just watch out for any kind of emotional manipulation or any of that kind of energy too. But I feel like you're going down a new path. This could be just yourself reflecting because I see the waiting. Waiting patiently, looking at things from a different perspective. Maybe there's a place where you're going. you got someone checking you out. But it's about just checking out the situation and all about perspective. Yeah, this is someone here. Someone who's angry, very sharp. They come across as a little cold. They could be cutting you out. You know, like I say, someone with a temper. But it has to do with someone who came in, they were very confident they were going to get what they wanted. But I feel like you know your worth and value. It has to do with self-respect. So there was something to do with a little bit of lack of respect here. Tell me about this King of Cups. See, while you're waiting. Now, this could be somebody while you're waiting. You may have a few options coming in. But it's really about you choosing the right one. And I feel you're going to do that. Yeah, you got an emperor. Someone mastering the elements of the King of Cups. See, someone who's generous and kind. Also see energy of someone logical. So you've got two people here. There's a, two people with one person who's confident. They've tamed the beast within themselves. And then you have somebody who's full of themselves, <laughs> entitled. They could be cutting you out, but like I say, I, I, I feel like you're just going to let this go. You're not taking this baggage with you. See, you know there's a, it's an energy of yourself protecting yourself, feeling guarded, being careful what you believe. You know your worth. See, this is where you know a situation doesn't serve. So this is yourself being confident as well, okay, making this choice. Life path choice decision. Let's see where you're headed here. you got an emperor coming in. Yeah, see, you've got someone here um, around you. Now, this is a person who's often curious, but it's someone who doesn't always tell you the truth. They have other options. So this is where I feel. Now, that could even be yourself. Just kind of looking at things, choosing the words wisely. But I feel it's a person. I really feel like you got someone here who's quite cold. Um, it's like I say, indulge me, give me what I want, or I'll cut you out. They're cruel. I feel they have a temper. So... Yeah, see, it's an energy of indecision. See, this is where you make up someone's mind for them, too. <laughs> now, it's an energy of taking off the rose-colored glasses, too, and seeing. Yeah. Let's have a look at the emperor. Who is this emperor? More on them. Definitely somebody's emotionally mature. They're not afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve. Yeah, a little Aries energy. They're taking a leap of faith. This is someone taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. This is someone who's a leader. So I really like, if you have a little Aries in your chart too, you're looking at the risks. You're playing, it's saying to play it safe. Look at the risk. Look before you leap. But I feel this person's coming in. They're going down this path. 
So it looks like while you've been waiting for all this situation here, likely to come to fruition, you see, waiting for this to see what happens. But I feel this person's coming in. See, it's saying to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. You already know, you already know the answers you're seeking. It's possible you're, you know, need to take off the rose colored glasses or something you didn't see before about this person. So but like I say, it looks to me like you're going to make up someone's mind for them here. A person who's indecisive. Yeah, King of Swords. Someone who can't make up their mind. It's often, too, a person, they come in, then they change their mind, and then they push you away. You know, it, it's just to me, I feel like you just need to um, teach somebody how you want to be treated here. But it, it's almost like they're trying to teach you how they want to be treated, They but they want you to indulge them. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very entitled okay someone here very entitled you deserve better okay that's what this is all about you deserve better mm -hmm. yeah they're stubborn stuck they refuse to budge they don't want to cooperate or compromise they want their cake and eat it too so this is where you protect yourself yeah see you're choosing the one you've got a choice you're going to choose the right person here this is where you know someone isn't the the one. Yeah, they're deceptive. Um, they play little games, mind games. And, yeah, and I feel like you know you can't trust it. Yeah, someone who comes in for attention. Huge ego. Huge ego. Yeah, very entitled. Yeah. Wow. See, it's not going to be successful. They're not going to get what they want, but they want their cake and eat it too. The signs are cautioning you. So pay attention to the signs. The red flags are cautioning you. Take off the rose-colored glasses. They may be attractive, charming, very smart, intellectual, someone who, you know, for a lot of, maybe very much your type in some ways, but there's something that's off with this person. And I feel like you. it's an energy of trusting your inner knowing. Okay. Trust your inner knowing, the lessons that you've learned here. Wow, yeah, see multiple opportunities, things speeding up. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed, maybe emotionally here, but I feel like you have better options. I feel like you're out of here, okay? This person's coming in. Yeah, this is energy of old school rules. So it's an energy of um, just not being on the same page. It's habits, lifestyles, the way someone conducted themselves. These are the things you're going to see. I feel like you're just not going to get each other, okay? That's what I feel. So whoever this person is is coming in. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In fact, I see almost uh, some of you have two people coming in, multiple opportunities. But only one of these people is the one. So you need to tame that beast within yourself. Stop putting in all the work. Stop giving. Okay? Don't give all of yourself to somebody. Don't be the wife until you're the wife. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Just be very careful what you believe here. I do feel like you need to stand up for yourself. That's another thing. Sometimes the Queen of Cups can be very passive. It's okay. I don't mind doing all the work. <laughs> You know, but I feel like you got a person who wants their cake and eat it too. They just come in when they want attention. It's telling you to stop feeding their ego. They have an unhealthy ego. It's good to have some pride and ego, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, this person lacks. See, there's a lot of lack. They're very negative. A lot of negative thinking. They come into a situation with the attitude, it's not going to be successful. But I feel like they come in with lack. Okay? Very negative. So I'm just going to leave it. It's just going to keep showing that this, this person with the King of Swords, and I do feel there's two people that have sword energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I do see a Libra. And I do see Aquarius. So, Okay? So I, that's where I feel like you need to choose here. Choosing the right one. Choosing the one. Well, the right person's emotionally mature, available. They put the shoe on the other foot. They take a pause to look to see how the other person feels. This person does not. <laughs> it's all about them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very stubborn. Often very selfish. Now, they could actually be connected to this King of Pentacles. But I feel like these are you've got several uh, choices here. And I think both of these people have sword energy. Yeah, see, the lack confirmation. A lot of lack, negative thinking. 
Yeah. See, it's an energy of being careful what you're manifesting, being cautious, because you may actually get it. So that's sometimes, like I say, the wishful thinking. But I do feel with the, the witch, which is like the magician. Okay. It's also somebody who likes to stir the pot too. Like I feel, somebody who likes to create drama, chaos. It could be jealousy too. Sometimes when you wait for somebody and then you meet someone and then they become jealous. So... Like I say, you have all the tools. You have everything you need to manifest your desires. Release this person who no long, who doesn't serve you, who doesn't treat you right. They don't treat you with respect. Okay, Let them know. Teach them how you want to be treated. They need to come in right. I feel there's just, it, I feel it's just saying there's someone who just isn't right for you. They come in, they push you away. Uh, they manipulate. They play little games. You know, they come in and push you away. Then they come back in again. See? Yeah. It's somebody who often just wants to be single, too. Like I feel, it's almost like that King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do see Taurus, but I feel they both have that that air energy. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. See, you want a partner. Someone who's there that has your best interest at heart. Someone who comes in for the right reasons. Yeah. I think you're going to know. You're moving. I feel your choice. I see stability, uh, something long term, somebody who wants to commit. But I feel until someone commits, keep your options open. Okay. It might make someone angry, but oh well. And I do feel one of these people is very attractive to you. And that's why I feel like you need to take off the rose colored glasses and actually see. It's often more than meets the. Oh, excuse me, the eye. Let's have a look at transformation. Let me grab the rest of this deck. Let's just have a look. It's going to bring it together. Yeah, manifesting. Somebody here definitely has all the tools. They have everything they need but love. So I do see some kind of communication, conversation. Definitely you've got a person who's longing for love. They want love. Now, like I say... This is an energy of waiting for somebody. And I do feel if you've taken another opportunity while someone kept you waiting, they may be jealous. So, like I say, I feel like there's someone who's really full of themselves here. <laughs> I really do. And I think this is somebody here, you know, like I say, I feel like it's telling you to be careful what you're manifesting. Because you might get it. So, yeah, weigh the pros and the cons, comparing someone to someone else. Um... Somebody here could be procrastinating too, but I think you got a person who's juggling. I think one of these people juggles. So, and it, it very well, like I say, could be you comparing one person to someone else. Yeah, you've got love. I mean, it's an energy of a soulmate connection. You have someone right here. See, while you're waiting, this person comes in, this person gets jealous, they lose their temper. So, yeah, so you've got a person who wants to date. And they're asking you out. They're coming in right. So you're doing things in a more traditional manner. Very well could be this person. Okay, so like I say, back and forth, I feel for yourself. Just be very careful what you believe. And don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Don't be so passive. Okay, it's good to speak up. Because I do feel that's something, a lesson here some of you need to learn. Okay. Yeah, keep your guard up a little bit here. Don't just believe what someone says. Look at the signs, the signals. They're cautioning you. Okay, the red flags. Yeah, see, there's not a lot of hope for this person. Hopeless and helpless. Yeah, you're going for new. I'm telling you, you you've got new. And I do see some of you have a choice between two. So, but I almost feel like this is somebody who's been coming and going back and forth, on and off. Um, back and forth between you possibly and someone else so there could actually be an, uh, three energies here but I do see this person in a hurry they're coming in to communicate yeah very fiery passionate they like to talk whoever they are I do feel they could have a little Aries in their chart whoever they are um, with that emperor energy it's that someone who's mature they're manifesting the energies of um, you know the emperor so they've they've got to that point of the king of cups so you do have an emperor coming in yeah the high priestess again see this is an energy of um, the hierophant 
See, this is where I feel you're just not on the same page. And I do feel you're going to struggle with this. I see it in her struggle uh, as you go through this transformation, this change. And I do think you're going to change your mind um, about who's right for you and who isn't. It's an energy of just trying somebody, a different type of person, if you have a type, okay? Dating and courting, two people, friends first. You see, talking, connecting, seeing eye to eye. Yeah, very nice energy. So definitely don't be afraid to speak up and stand up for yourself because that's where I feel you need to tame that beast with yourself. You need to stop giving. You need to stop, you know, indulging this person and keep filling their cup because you you deserve better okay you deserve better you need you deserve to have your cup filled see just walking away moving towards something happier emotional fulfillment take care and we'll see you soon